am not buying any of this shit. So not too soon after I had uploaded my first unbuying fashion thirst traps video, here I am. <laughs> so let's talk about it. These are the items that I'm talking myself out of buying. Although for, for some of them, I might need to circle a block. Okay, so first up, the J'adore Dior sling bag. Now there's two versions. Well, one version, but two different colors, right? So there's this all navy version where even the sling bag part is navy as well, because a lot of the J'adore Dior sling bags the sling back part is white or black and white or whatever. And then there is the same shoe, but in an all ox blood version. Now I was in Neiman Marcus the other day and I saw these and I picked it up and I was like, oh, these are so beautiful. And I think these shoes are about $1,500 if I remember correctly. The prices online are a little bit different because you know, they have different versions of them and I could not find the exact version of what I saw. So I'm gonna assume that is a Neiman Marcus only exclusive. And that mess is so exclusive it's not even on a Neiman Marcus website. So like, I guess you just gotta carry your behind down to the store. Those shoes were just, so, oh my God, it was so beautiful. And what made them even more beautiful, not only the fact that like, it's a classic shoe silhouette that I could wear with many, many, many things. Also, both the navy and the oxblood are in my color season. Like, hello, don't we want to look amazing in our colors? The thing that ultimately, well, two things ultimately made me be like, girl, you tripping. The price, <laughs> okay? Cause you know, not to say that I've never spent so much on a pair of shoes or anything at all, but right now, with the economy being the way that it is, I don't know about spending 1500, even if it was a, a thousand dollars, like a thousand dollars, 1500, same shit, yo, really, you know? But ultimately, even if, you know, the economy, we were swimming in ducats over here. Ultimately, the reason why I was like, let me chill, was because these look way too similar to my Fendi Colibri shoes that I have. Two pairs. Matter of fact, let me show you. All right, so I have these two pairs, right? This pair, when I tell you, the cost per wear on these is probably somewhere around, I don't even remember how much I paid for these. I think these were like 1100 I think, when I bought them. Maybe even closer to 900 because I bought these actually in the actual Fendi store because I went in there thinking I wanted like the shorter heel and the sales lady was like, nah girl, you gotta step with the big dogs. So I was like, ah, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I got these and then I ordered these online. I, I wanna say this is was similar in price because I got these maybe a couple months after I bought these. These I've had since, I don't know, 2021 maybe, but I wear these a ton. And not to say that like pumps can be, well, some I guess, I guess if you get like the easy spirit, look like a pump, feel like a sneaker, it'd be really comfortable. But honestly, for these being a pump, they are very comfortable. Oh, they gonna feel like a sneaker? No. <laughs> but for a pump, I get a lot of hours out of these. I could probably wear these. I wouldn't go on the subway with these, like if I knew I needed to travel in the subway, but that's only because I have a very vivid imagination and I'm always thinking like, what if I need to run? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm gonna need to be able to, you know, get out of situation. But these are very comfortable. These I don't get to wear as often. And I, I hate to say that I regret buying them because I don't think we're there yet at the regret, but it's a beautiful color. I wanted something like to wear with lighter colors. However, if I kind of really look at this, like the material of it is giving winter, but the colors are giving summer. So there's a little bit of a disconnect here with this shoe, but these, you know, I wear these all the time. But anyway, so. I told myself like, girl, you don't need them Dior shoes cause they, they look just like it. But the navy ones, <sighs> if I had a choice between the navy and the oxblood, I would definitely get the navy cause I think I would be able to match a lot more with the navy and I would be able to, you know, get a lot more cost per wear from it. Ultimately, I gotta unbuy them joints. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Now the next one, I might need to circle the block on this one and, and, and Whew, this trench is oof. Now, if you go by the Japanese pronunciation, which I looked up, it's Sukai. However, you know, we mad New York over here, so I'm gonna say Sakai, right? So this is the Sukai or the Sakai layered trench coat with thread detail is, you know, the, the official name for it. And these things will be linked below, so cause, just cause I'm unbuying, it doesn't mean that, you know, you should be deprived of getting these amazing things yourself. So now the thing is, this jacket is amazing! Like, do you see 
this coat? So the price on this, this trench is $2,140. Now that, that is an up there price. However, in my girl math brain, <laughs> I would be able to justify, you know, paying that much for a, a trench because, all right, can I say cosplay wear? I guess you could say cosplay wear because I would have this coat forever and ever, but I don't know that cosplay wear really factors in here. I think for me, what, where I justify the price is that the design of this coat is amazing. And this is probably, I don't wanna say definitely, cause you never know, but it's probably not something that you're gonna get an easy dupe for. The way things are mass produced, I don't think they're gonna slow down the production to you know get all of the detail in that's on, that's on this trench. But this, this trench is beautiful. Ultimately though, because I would have gotten it anyway and then at least get it home, smell it. Feel it, drape it on my body <laughs> and see how it fits and how it looks and just, you know, like get in a full length there and see how, you know, see what it's given. I would have done that at, at least anyway, cause you know, you got a return policy or whatever. I couldn't find anybody that had my size and I'm going to assume that this is going to run a little small. So there's a size three, which is a 10 to 12 large US, which I am. However, I feel like sometimes people be lying with the size sizes. Well, they don't be lying. It's just that, you know, sizes are different, but I would have probably felt more comfortable getting the size four, which is an extra large, which wait, I think the large is an eight. I'll, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm, I think the large is eight size, eight to 10 us. And then the extra large is 10 to 12 us. I think, let me look it up. Actually, I must've made that up because it only has like the one, two, three, four, and then extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, you know, whatever. But anyway, I came across this brand browsing in Bergdorf and I was just like, oh my God, they have so many amazing pieces. So this is going to be a brand that I'm going to add to my list to kind of like keep an eye out for what else they do, because this is giving, I need at least one piece or something. They have this other bomber jacket. I'm gonna put it up here, a picture. And I was just like, oh my God, that looks so good. But I actually did see the bomber jacket in person and it looked like a little too oversized. So I would probably have to size down for it to make sense for me. But then even then I felt like it would be like, it would be doing too much like material wise, you know? So anyway, let's move on to the next one. It is these shoots, Mariana Croc Emboss <laughs> over the knee boots. And y'all know how I feel about an over the knee boot. Yes, give it to me, I want it. I want to be, you know, doing, channeling my inner Mary J. Blige with the over the knee boots, right? And these I also saw in person. I was in Nordstrom with my friend Melissa and I was just like, oh my God, I need these shoes. And I would probably get the chocolate brown croc embossed version because they do have this in a cream color. I don't really see me wearing a cream that often. So the chocolate brown it is. And then they, they have another boot. It's a different style all together, but it's an over the knee boot and it's just like a plain kind of leather material. But these boots are bad. Now, the reason why I have to unbuy it is because as much as I love a heel and I love a heel, I'm five foot nine and I will still wear my heels. However, the practicality of me wearing these boots easily is, is kind of slim. You know, like it, it'll probably be a pair of boots that I would be able to wear just for a few hours, like certain occasions. Like if I'm driving, I'll wear those but then also if I'm driving I might not want to wear a heel while I'm driving so I would still have to wear like a flat shoe so that I could like drive and reach the gas pedal and all that other stuff and you know feel comfortable with that because you know some shoes just don't like you just feel like you're gonna final destination yourself if you ain't got the right grip on the gas or the brake right so I had to unbuy it because I'm like, I'm not gonna get to wear it enough. If it had more of a platform heel or like a wedge, if my favorite Zara boots that I wear all the time, then I'm gonna put them on today. Actually, I gotta go to host a skincare event. Right after I finish this, I gotta put iron my dress, put it on and get them boots on and get up out of here. I had to unbuy that, but the link is gonna be in the, in the description. So if you wanted to buy it or check it out, you know, you can do that. Now, another reason why I didn't wanna buy these because I can, buy heels and justify that like, okay, I can't have my closet be full of only everyday items. Like sometimes, you know, a girl wants to step out a little something, but I still also keep in mind the fact that I don't want a lot of clothes in my closet. Like right now I need to clear out my closet because I still have my summer stuff in there because I've been looking for some nice under the bed storage 
that can keep the cat from being underneath my bed. <laughs> but I haven't found that yet and I've been a little busy, but I need to get my summer clothes, you know, in storage because they're just taking up too much room and I'm not seeing all that I have and it takes even longer for me to get dressed and I need to get dressed quickly, 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 quickly. That's just how my brain works and, and the way my schedule is with timing and stuff. But yeah, I can, I'm like, am I gonna really wear the boot? Is it gonna, it's gonna be taking up space? And over the knee boots take up a lot of space. Like, I mean, you know, you could fold them down, but then if you fold them down, you, you know, you run the risk of creasing them and they might not, you know, be all nice and whatnot. So another reason why I had to unbuy it. Now, although this video is about me unbuying things, I do think like a video like this can kind of be helpful to you because, you know, I feel like we're a community of people. We want to look good. We want to get quality things. We don't want to overspend. We want to be smart about our purchases. So hopefully in me talking about the things that I'm not buying will help inspire you to, you know, kind of figure out what you should buy or shouldn't buy in your closet. All right, so this next item is the Ugg All Gender Shasta Tall Boot or Boot Tall, however they say it. Now, the thing is with these, I saw these in person as well. If these came in white, we wouldn't even be talking about it right now because I would have done bought them joints already. Now they do have a white version that comes in a shorter boot that I'm like, I might need to get that, I might need to get that. But if these, I just wish that these tall boots came in white because although they come in like this pink color, the pink I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna get a lot of wear out of because I don't really have enough winter clothes that would go with that color pink. Black, the black is nice, but it's just like, it's so boring. It's all just like plain and I'm like, I want a little something. And then there's like this beige color and I'm just like, nah, I don't want that color. But here's the thing, with me and winter boots, I can always justify a winter boot purchase because you know I live in New York sometimes it gets really cold here sometimes we get a lot of snow we get ice I can always justify having a cute pair of winter boots especially something like an Ugg boot and these are the type of Ugg boots that will keep your feet warm up to negative 32 degrees Fahrenheit so stuff like that I really love but damn why didn't make the tall boots in, in white now I know what you're thinking white does sound like it's gonna get dirty pretty easily but I I think so. I think, I feel like because of the type of material that it is, I want to say it was leather, not to say that white leather can't get dirty, but I feel like the way, I don't know, I just had a feeling that I won't mess these up. Unless like, what could mess this up? I don't know if I'm eating a slice of pizza, which I, I wouldn't cause you know, I can't eat dairy. <laughs> but if I was eating like a slice of pizza and then like outside with the boots on and it fell and then I got pizza sauce on the, on the boot, then that'll get it a little messy. Maybe if I kind of fell into a puddle, that'll get it messy, but I feel like that's easy to clean, right? So. I don't know. I might have to get the short white ones or I'm thinking this might be the year where I need to get me a pair of moon boots. You know, are they super warm for when it's like below 32 degrees? Are they too hot? Like if it's like 45, 50 degrees, like should, well, 45, 50 degrees, I'm probably not wearing winter boots, but you know what I mean? Like are they gonna make my feet hot? Cause I don't like to be hot cold. Cause I get hot cold pretty often <laughs> in the winter time and that's when it's cold outside. But you got on so many layers and you're moving around that you're sweating. So it's like you're hot, but it's cold. You know what I mean? Anyway, let me know your thoughts about the moon boots in the comments. Now, while I am unbuying these items, there are some items that you may want to consider actually buying if you don't already have them in your closet because they can be made into some easy AF full outfits. We're talking about it all up in this video. Click on it and I will see you there.